with Bumpy's Frozen Pizza Reviews. Yeah. On this episode of Bumpy's Frozen Pizza Review, I have Chuck E. Cheese Cheese Pizza. This comes in at 16.25 ounces. Uh, I guess you get uh, 500 free e-tickets for whatever, but uh, yeah, my grandson's not old enough for Chuck E. Cheese yet, so by the time we could use those, then uh, this probably wouldn't be a good uh, thing anyways. It would probably be expired. So uh, it's a good source of calcium made with 100% real mozzarella cheese, and that's what it looks like in the wrapper. Let's take it out. Let's get it in this oven that I have preheated to 500 degrees. Okay, so here is the pizza out of the oven. Um, I cooked it higher at four, uh, 500 degrees instead of 400 degrees. It wanted to be 400 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. I did it for about 500 degrees for about seven minutes, and then I did hit the broil. Um, it started getting a little bit darker around the edges. I was trying to make it look more like that, but I think that's an actual like picture of a Chuck E. Cheese pizza, not one of these frozen ones. Uh, anyways, the crust looks all right. And uh, price on this, um, I threw away the receipt. I don't really know. I think it was around the $6 range. Um, I'll get more into it after I slice it here. You know, I'm going to eat the whole fucking pie. All right, so good crisp on that, too. I'm trying to see if this, like, cooking them at a higher temperature thing actually works or if I should just follow the instructions. Seems to be at 50-50 so far. I hit the box. Ah, we got through it. Okay. Let's do a cheese pull. Ooh. Ooh, there's some. Snap, snap. All right. Well, let's go and uh, start with this first slice. All right. So here we are. We have the whole Chuck E. Cheese pizza here. Cheese pizza. Start with this first slice, first bite. Cheers. All right, so the first bite impressions. Um, yeah, I got some stringy cheese that kind of glided down the throat there a little bit at that mozzarella. Um, sauce does seem familiar. Uh, I think I think it does kind of uh, taste a little bit like the sauce from uh, Chuck E. Cheese if you go and get a slice there. But I mean, overall, it's not tasting like an actual authentic Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Crust seems to be a little bit different. Um, it's just not as I mean, Chuck E. Cheese pizza isn't like the best pizza in the world. But I never minded it when I took my daughter there when she was little, uh, and we'd we'd have some pizza every now and then so anyways I'm going to continue eating this drinking my beer out of this nice Spiegel glass um, I got a nice beer glass set uh, sent to me from FLX Beer Reviews Dan so shout out to Dan uh, and FLX Beer Reviews thanks for uh, sending me a glass set it's working out very well with this sessionable IPA from Notch Brewing All right, now on to the rest of this pizza. All right, we are down to the last bite of the first slice here. Um, yeah, so far, impressions of it. There's plenty of sauce on it, I can tell you that. Uh, it's a very tomato-y sauce. I'm um, getting like that kind of acidic um, taste out of the tomato. Like I said, it does kind of remind me of the... Uh, Sauce that you might find on an actual Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Um, the cheese isn't too bad. I mean, there's not much to offer with the cheese. It's just mozzarella cheese. It doesn't, they didn't sprinkle it with anything. Um, the sauce is just tomato. There's no, nothing else going for that. Um, the crust, it's a thin crust. Uh, it's a crackery crust. It does seem like almost like there's wheat or something though. There's a, it's a little bit different than some of the like completely bland crusts. Um, I'm picking up on something that's kind of like a wheat crisp or something out of it. But I'll continue uh, eating the rest of this pizza. I'll get down to that final slice and then I'll uh, give you my final thoughts on this pizza. All right, so here we are down to the 
final slice here. Pretty easy pizza to get through. Yeah, anything that's under a pound is pretty easy. And this is my dinner tonight too, so. Here we go, let's finish this off. All right, so here we are. We're down to the last few bites. Um, yeah, all the cheese came off. As you see, there's plenty of sauce. That was the way it was all throughout the pizza. Um, overall, uh, for this pizza, let's just start with the price range on it. Said I threw away the receipt. I know it was somewhere around six dollars uh, for this pie. Uh, you're basically you're paying for that Chuck E. Cheese namesake. Uh, this realistically is not like eating a Chuck E. Cheese pizza at Chuck E. Cheese. This is more like eating a Jack's pizza, um, maybe with a little bit more sauce, but pretty similar. A thin crust, um, not too much flavor going on but not like disgusting either um just price point yeah i would just buy a jacks you can maybe you know print out a picture of chuck e cheese and put it over the top if it like excites your kids or something but uh i think for the price range the namesake of chuck e cheese and maybe you're paying for that 500 uh e-tickets as well um but uh yeah i would just eat I would just eat Jack's or just get a better pizza. But overall, not disappointed in this one. It's not the worst thing I've ever eaten as far as a frozen pizza. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this off now. And thank you all for watching.